measure policy, you can see the overall compliance state across hundreds of application teams. Here you can see that I'm currently 29% compliant against 2,500 resources. By drilling into a, one of the initiatives that I have where I'm currently 25% compliant, I can see the additional breakdown of individual policies as well. I can also drill down to an individual policy to see the additional breakdown of the resources. Here, I can see not only the non-compliant resources, but also the compliant resources as well so that I have the full fidelity of my environment. I can also see who's been triggering these audit events and by drilling down to the individual row, I can see the additional details within the Azure Activity Log. Now let's talk about how these compliance results are evaluated. On day zero, when you make a brand new assignment, we do what we call a full scan, where we will evaluate all of your existing resources and give a state of compliant, non-compliant, or not applicable per policy assignment. From that point on, any time there was a resource change, we'll do what we call a delta scan so that the compliance result gets updated within about 15 minutes of the resource change. We also do the periodic scan every 24 hours in case there were any shifts in the environment that we did not catch. Lastly, we also have a on-demand scan API so that you can trigger the compliance evaluation on the environment. You can see over here if I go back onto my resource compliance view, that my resources have last been evaluated at 8.57 p.m. If I want to trigger the refresh of the compliance result, I can call my on-demand scan API to refresh the results. By doing this post call in this example for my resource group, the API will return you the URL for you to get additional details. Then you would do the get call to the URL and it will return you 202 if it's been accepted and ongoing or 200 if the scan has been completed successfully. Then the result can, will be displayed back onto our experience. Now let's talk about the compliance percentage. Let's say that on your environment, you have three virtual machines and two SQL databases. And you have a policy in place that says that all SQL databases must have the transparent data encryptions enabled. And your two of the SQL databases are not, um, have the encryption disabled. In this example, what we will do is that we will evaluate these virtual machines and check that this is a not applicable resource because it is not a type equal SQL. And this is an applicable resource. And so out of the two SQL databases you have, you have no resources that has the encryption enabled. So hence, you'll get 0% compliance. The applicability is eva evaluated on the back end based on the policy definition that you've created. And so you don't have to worry about um, specifying what is an applicable versus non-applicable. For example, in this initiative, you can see that the total resource counts vary depending on the policies that you've assigned. So I have 74 virtual machines and 10 SQL databases. Get additional details on our Azure documentation.